Hello guys, merhaba. Today I want to show you Turkish gestures. Some of these gestures are unique to Turkey and Turkish people, while some of them are probably used in your country as well. So let's start with the first one. Pardon. Pardon. So when you're eating in a Turkish restaurant, if you see people who pretend to write on ear, do not be surprised because it's the gesture that is used to ask the check from the waiter. So you just pretend to write on ear like this and then they will bring you the check. So putting the right hand on heart is used to greet people in Turkey. So you can basically put your right hand on your chest when you want to greet someone. But it's not the only use of this gesture. We also use this when we want to thank someone or when we want to say no to someone in a polite way. For example, would you like to eat some chocolate? Yok, sağ ol. Do you want to drink tea? Yok, eyvallah. Got fear? You're scared, right? So basically, we use this gesture when we are challenging someone to do something scary or difficult. For example, I know you love that girl, but can you talk to her? <gasps> so in Turkey, it's believed that when you're talking about something bad, you know, it might be a cancer, a bankruptcy, or maybe an accident, you should do this gesture to avoid that bad event. And it's very easy. You pull your ear and do this, and then you knock on a solid material, like a table, for example. There might be a big earthquake next month. Allah kursun. So this is an interesting gesture that is very useful, actually. When you do this, it means, I swear I don't have money. I'm so broke. And it is very effective for friends who want to borrow money from you. Can you give me 100 lira? I don't have any money. So you can use this gesture to rub something in someone's face. Something that they didn't think you could do. Once you accomplish that thing, you can do this to mean that even though you thought I couldn't do, look, I did it anyway. Let me give you some more examples. You can never make a score. Okay, watch me. Look. So this gesture has a name actually. Its name is Na. Okay? In Turkish we call it Na. And I know that in some countries they use this gesture when they're playing games with child. They say, okay, I stole your nose. But this means something very different in Turkey. So don't make this joke in Turkey, okay? When someone says something that we don't agree or we don't believe at all, we use this gesture to express an opposition or a misbelief. It simply means no, but in a very vulgar way. For example, I will marry Megan Fox. Mm-hmm. Can I borrow your car for a day? O zaman nikah kışın yaparız, eğlenceyi yazın yaparız. Bak buraya. Bak. Another head gesture that you can use to say no in Turkey is this. Do you want to drink tea? Did you see your brother? Pardon. Let's say you are in a restaurant in Turkey and the table is just so messy. If you want the waiter to clean the table, you just do a run with your hand. It means that I'm done, please clean them up. So you do this by showing the table and it just means to clean the table. Oh, oh, oh. So if you want to say there is lots of something, you do this. Let me give you an example. How many car he has? Oh, 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 en az on. This means rock, rock and roll, I guess. And when you do this, you show that you support MHP, which means Nationalist Movement Party. It looks like a wolf, right? Yes, because their symbol is wolf. That's why to show that they support uh, this political party, people do this.
So this means okay in many countries. But in Turkey, when you do this to someone, it means that you are calling that person homosexual. So try to avoid doing this gesture in Turkey. So when you rub your fingers like this, it simply means money. I think this is also common in other countries as well. So it can be used when you want someone to pay you or it can be used when you're asking the price of something. So this is one of our national gestures to start a fight. You know, if you're about to fight with someone, you will do this to say, what's wrong with you? Who are you? And you also need to shake your head a little bit, okay? So you can like, what's wrong with you? Honestly, I'm not very good at doing this gesture, but it's basically, I mean, just shake your hand and uh, shake your head a little bit. That's it. Mm. So we do this to show that we like something so much. It can be a food, it can be a girl or a guy, it can be anything that you liked. To show that you don't know something, you do this. I don't know. So if you see a Turkish person doing this, it means that they're scared, okay? So some Turkish people do this after and they got scared. Even though it's not really common, maybe you can see some, you know, Turkish people doing this in a Turkish series, maybe. That's why I want to tell you. Guys, this is not a Turkish gesture, okay? I know Nusret is Turkish and he does this all the time, but this is not a Turkish gesture, we never do this. So now I have a question for you guys. Did you see any gesture that you also use in your country? If you saw, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching guys. Let me know which one was your favorite and you can ask me your questions in the comments below. If you liked this video, if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I hope to see you in the next video. Kendine iyi bak. Görüşürüz.